so I've been a single mom for a while. I have two babies. My older son is going to be 14 this year. And this, um, them being away on the weekends. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why didn't you tell us how old your youngest child is? Could it be because that's a little, little kid? Five, four, three, a couple months? Could it be because you divorced your husband and you left? And now you're missing your kids because they have to be gone on the weekend with shared visitation? It's funny how she said 14 and then she starts looking to the side and it's like she went through her head and said, uh, better not mention how young my youngest is because that's gonna tell the whole story. It does not get easier. It does. Because, you know, you know, they have to be loved on by others, um, their other family, their whatever. They have to have a relationship. Um, but on my end, I just want my babies home all the time. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have got her divorced or left the person that she was with. How about that? There's a there's big holes in this story right here, folks. Now, I'm assuming, but I have pretty good intuition myself as a guy. And I can kind of read between the lines, especially with a lot of body language. She's definitely not telling the whole story. And like, sometimes it makes me want to cry, especially because my oldest is almost old enough to make that choice if he wants to hang out with me or not, or um, he's almost, he's getting closer and closer to that age where he's going to be an adult. And I still see him as this little baby, you know? Ah, I don't want to cry. But it gets easier, but it doesn't. I'm not a selfish person. My kids have to have their own life, their own circle. But I'm always going to see them as the little babies that they, that they were. Like, that I, when I gave birth to them, you know, that little face, that's always going to be the face I see when I see them. <sighs> that was my vent, my venting for today, but um, stay strong, mamas. We got this. Hmm. It sounds like you left your husband, you left your boyfriend, you left the father of those children, and now they have to have visitation. And you know, a lot of times... When women choose to get divorced and choose to walk away, they don't want any other blame. But a lot of times kids do blame women for doing that. Because a lot of times these women leave these relationships because they're not happy. They think the whole world revolves around being happy. They think every single second of their life is supposed to be happy and perfect. And their girlfriends are telling her, oh, you're supposed to be happy, girl, at all times. And all this, when you have children, it no longer is about you. It's about them and it's about their happiness. But a lot of ladies follow this narrative and think, I'm just going to leave my structured family. I'm just going to leave it alone. And then I'm going to hope that my children, children, choose to be with me at all times and if they don't i'm gonna try to manipulate them and manipulate the situation to make them be with me at all times i might start crying i might start making videos talking about how much i miss my children but i'm the one who left the relationship if you stayed in the relationship your kids would be there with you pretty much all the time they wouldn't have to leave to go visit their father they would be with their father and their mother. But a lot of women like this choose to do this. Now, if you look at her, this is a TikTok. It's probably a filter, but she doesn't look that old, right? She probably listened to her friends so you can find somebody else. You can go do this. You can go do that. Be happy. Get your freedom, girl. Work on you, girl. Power, woman, power. But in the end, you cannot escape your biology. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Your biology as a woman is going to scream. You're a mom. You're going to miss your kids. You're going to miss your, 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 as a dad, you're going to miss your, your, you know, your, your kids as a dad too, but it's not the same, right? I have a daughter right now in Texas, 19 years old, 
barely 19 years old, in the Air Force. I cried like a baby when she left because I'm so used to my baby being around me. I'm so used to seeing her, so used to talking to her. But as a parent, I have to realize that look, she has her own life, she has to go do that. That's what it's about. You raise your kids up so they can fly off and do the right thing. But see her right here, she's upset because her kids that are not 18 um, have to spend time with the other side of their family. She's upset because she's probably realizing that that older son that's 14, he probably wants to spend more time with his dad because the older kids get, boys get especially, they wanna be with their dad more. And that's what she probably doesn't like and that's probably what's, what's breaking her down. For her to even get on here to make this video like that tells you something. But again, there's big holes in this story. She's not telling the whole story. But there's a lot of women that do this. A lot of women choose to break up their family because they live under this fake guise that they need to be happy all the time and they need to be so free. But in the end, like I keep saying, you can never escape your biology. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.